Good morning in Sri Lanka, very, very far high up in the mountains. That's where we are right now. And today I want to take you along on a very, very special place. Last night arrived on a scooter, drove in, it's getting dark. And today I'm waking up in this absolute kind of like mountain hill paradise type of place. Today I want to take you along on a little bit of a, let's say, very special hotel cabins in the woods in the mountains experience in Sri Lanka I've just got a little little bit of a first impression so this is the place that we're staying at fairly minimalist very cozy the biggest thing is so far everybody that I've seen here I think this is pretty much you could call it a wellness resort everybody is quiet there's pretty much like no music just sounds of nature it's so peaceful you all, like you hear it in my voice so today I want to take you along on a very very special experience see how it is see if at the end of it I feel like it's worth it and um, I think so far in terms of like peaceful hotels this is already numero uno so let me take you along today so as I said this is the room got a nice little coffee here very very minimalist got the bed but obviously guys you're just hanging out here you got this like mountains as far as the eye can see so let's head out it's breakfast time i'm also quite hungry yesterday at night arrived <sighs> let's see what they got let me show you around the property So guys, this is the cabin. From what I understand, they have 20 cabins, but the property is huge. So this one side, four or five cabins, they're pretty far from each other. So very, very private. And uh, yeah, let's walk over to the restaurant. Okay guys, so here we are approaching the main restaurant. It's a very, very, let's say, open building, you could say. Let's just walk in a little bit. So the best thing for me so far is that in most places you go barefoot. Fantastic. That's how I like to walk around hotels anyway for the most part. So you drop off your little flippers, which they actually also provide, and walking in. So downstairs, uh, in the back there's a bar. Here's kind of like a bit of a chill area got some nice books also of their own properties and yeah you can just sit down here chill out and have just this horizon view of just pure mountains so basically i would say from what i can see there's two materials being used in this place concrete or let's say three wood a lot of wood and metal Ooh, let's see Was the breakfast good? Yeah. All right. It's good. 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 Excited. Thank you. So, hey guys. For breakfast? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. So, guys, walking in, that's what it is all about here. So, where are we going to sit? That is. We all know where we're gonna sit, right? What kind of juice so, do you have? Uh, we have uh, today carrot juice. Mm -hmm. You can see it's carrot. Sure. All right, we'll check. Would you like to have some more coffee or something? Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, coffee, right? Yeah. yeah. So guys, here we are, pretty much got this spot in the very corner, I mean, let's say like that. The whole place is basically wood, class, you see the whole mountain space and uh, yeah. Let's see what they can, let's say, cook up for breakfast here. What is it, Sri Lankan traditional breakfast, huh? Yeah. Nice. This is a chili and, mm -hmm. onion and coconut sambal, yeah. fish curry, dal curry and some fried onion. Uh -huh. This is a 
a uh, special one. It's a beetroot player one uh -huh. and some beetroot on the top. Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. That one's yeah, not a, not that common. Yeah, so. some beetroot infused, nice. yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. So, enjoy. And how do you how do you usually eat it? Like, um, uh, you can, you can mm -hmm. put uh, everything of it and depot, you can also mm -hmm. can a uh, little bit of everything Where's and wrap it up. Okay, so I can yeah. do whatever I yeah, want. Yeah, wrap yeah, it up, yeah. dip it. Easy all right, yeah. cool. All right, thank so you very much. Yeah. Thank you. So guys, let's begin the breakfast. I've tried these actually with Dabut and Colombo. It was really good, but yeah, um, everything very neat, very clean, not too much. It's a full board hotel, so we're gonna have three meals. Usually I only have two meals a day. And yeah, they got some nice mixed juice. There's some turmeric in it. Usually not a big fan, but pretty good actually. Pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Breakfast was very good, thank you. Guys, look at that. So basically everything is transparent. Most of the windows are open, so you have a pretty strong breeze passing through. And what at first I found kind of like interesting is there's absolutely no music at the property. Maybe in the wellness area, God knows. But so far everywhere I've been like, and the best part is because you hear the wind, you hear the birds, there's always something happening. Yet no peacocks, nothing like that. And as far as the eye can see, maybe I see some like little houses all the way in the back on the mountains. This place is the only place around here. And yeah, just sitting here a little bit. Usually I like to listen to some music, but here I pretty much just, you know, listen to the ambient sounds. Beautiful. So I head back to the room and then I'll give you a full tour of this property. I'm seeing the pool from here. Wanna see it? Let's go. Alrighty, thank you. See you later. Hello. Bye bye. Yeah. Sorry? We have to discuss your lunch and dinner. Okay. Let's discuss. Yeah. Lunch and dinner. Yes. Hello. Chicken breast. Okay. You got me with the chicken breast. Okay. We'll do that today. All right. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Thank okay. you very much. See you. Bye bye. Bye, bye. So last night I arrived. I had their Sri Lankan food. It was fantastic. When he said chicken breast, decision was made. I'm sure they're going to make it delicious here. So. Yeah, look at that, guys. As you see, the nature sounds. <sighs> this hotel is like a breath of fresh air. That's how I would describe it. Metaphorically, physically, metaphysically, emotionally, and of course, Let's go to the right of a tour. So as I said, the hotel is very, very, let's say, naturally sustained and also kept in the way that they don't do, let's say, any too much extras. Have the... How are you doing, guys? Just passing through. So let's go to the pool area, I would say. Basically, there's nothing that is too much in this hotel. As much as they can, they just keep it with nature in between put a couple of sofas so this is basically the pool area pool looks really good probably tomorrow morning gonna hit it up as well so basically with the pool we're overlooking the mountain like with pretty much everything so uh, it's a good bunch of people there so let me just kind of like give you a little bit of a sneaky idea Alrighty guys, so decided to hit up the pool here. No, you didn't make it? No, you didn't. Haha. <laughs> uh, so, super peaceful in the morning. Um, usually people go there right after breakfast. Right now, slightly cloudy, but super vibe. So peaceful, don't even want to really talk. So, gonna cool down a little bit. And so yeah, basically here's kind of like the ladder. You walk down, oop. Here and here kind of have like a bit of a mountain panorama. So I think I've showed you already in the morning. In the morning it looks absolutely insane. All right now quite nice too. So down there basically is their shower room. And that's what I mean, it's like all the time. Very, very low key. You walk around, you don't even see it. But actually downstairs they have their bathrooms and very much so my favorite area. I haven't uh, visited it since yesterday, the sauna area. Yesterday I wanted to go, but they closed it at seven. Or at least that's what they said, maybe still open. But today's the day. Let's cool down and then let's warm up. That ass, though. Okay. All good? Yeah? Okay. Pass by. 
whatever i guess then i can talk come so inside of the pool i have to tell you guys during the day this probably is absolutely sick so i was just considering i was thinking about the hotel in colombo really cool place kind of like rooftop pool and yeah more impressive the rooftop pool but just here the whole setting i was also just thinking about the restaurant really this hotel i've mentioned it before i'm sure in this video is all about kind of like they do the few important things very very neatly and the rest is just peace like there's workers everywhere at all times in certain areas so you can go there but if you're by the pool by yourself like nobody's bothering you super peaceful and uh, yeah so during the day this pretty much gonna glow up even more water is kind of like a bit of a reflection hallway maze so back there just discovered there's like a warm water pool nice nice but let's say the magic probably the camera's gonna get all fogged up but <sighs> nice and hot and the best part is i'm sure there's many saunas like that but for me first time have this like super nice view just a second ago there was a monkey in the trees so you're gonna heat up a little bit and maybe dip in the pool again but yeah let me basically pretty pretty good size of a heat room oh yeah sunset even though it has been raining earlier it's lighting up right now like crazy spend the whole day just like listening to some podcasts inside of there just honestly also just sitting down just listening to nature sound and um yeah enjoy the sunset shots and then we'll go check out their dinner as well Oh, and as for the wrap up for the hotel, I think it's a very, very important point to mention some of the best food I've had in my whole life. Maybe not every single meal, but like some meals there are like, I'm like, oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's maybe not exactly like my personal preference, but then some meal I'm like, wow, how did they do it? And everything is measured out so perfectly, the portion size. For me personally, I think I was running a slight caloric deficit because I move around a lot as well. But it's like literally, like you're not too full, you get out of there and around the next time for lunch or dinner, it's like full board basically every booking here. You kind of feel a little bit hungry. You go, you sit down, perfect. Like seriously, probably first time in my life where I was like, the food is measured out so flawlessly perfectly for my kind of like caloric needs. I think for most people, it's gonna be a good amount of food. Me, I'm a big eater in general, but uh, yeah, loved it. And, and because they feed you so well, your energy levels are so stable. Okay guys, next morning, it's pretty much three days at the Santani. Let's say like that, three days in the hills i said it before and i'll say it again the most peaceful hotel of all time so you know there's a good amount of people here actually but it feels like everybody's coming here for the same reason so yesterday a bit more active checked out the pool the sauna everything and the other thing that is really interesting here is just how the weather changes up so one moment pretty sunny almost every morning beautifully sunny of course depending on the season you come but then around 12 1 every almost day clouds move in like crazy then it rains it pours again sunny again in an hour so it really gives you let's say the full plethora of different experiences you could be having here and yeah i have to tell you definitely it's a, it's a unique concept it's like um if you come here with the right let's say understanding of what you're looking for might be one of the best hotels in the world no joke but just because of the simplicity and what they try to achieve here which is like a really like peaceful natural retreat type of situation and uh, yeah, been hanging also with some people at the hotel here and um, didn't have the chance to check out 
they are basically they also have activities yoga in the morning um, sure it's great but I personally let's say enjoyed my private time for these three days guys I'm telling you read a little bit of books did a lot of writing a little bit of work but other than that I think that was the first time I kind of felt really physically peaceful for like a couple of days mentally up here is a different question you can also have that in a big city but just in terms of really kind of like I felt a little bit like I'm in a different world and nature definitely does something to you just looking down here right now just looking at all of these trees all of this greenery truly a special place not just a, a cabin in the forest which can also definitely be nice but you know sometimes you get to a place like that and it reminds you of other places oh, it's a little bit like this a little bit like that yeah here maybe and to some extent as well yet at the same time you just have to say absolutely once in a lifetime kind of thing out of all the different mountainous areas I have been, be it in Asia, be it in Central Europe, this one is definitely, let's say like that, most peaceful. And on that note, you two got a world to see. If you're new here by any chance, generally I document my life here around the idea of building a life of freedom around the world. That's what got a world to see stands for. So pretty much, you know, stay a couple of days at a retreat like that, film the experience really to kind of like one-on-one -on -one take you along. If you're interested to see what else I'm up to, different projects I do, my Instagram, if you want to see where I am right now, I'll try to leave everything in the description and uh, yeah. <sighs> got a world to see. Well, yeah, guys, and just as a little side note, bit of a story, drove out with the scooter the other day. It broke down, kind of like the belt inside exploded or something, everything fine. But it was a funny story. Uh, maybe I'll show you a little bit. I probably will feature it. So, if I turn on, it just makes noise. I don't know. Do you know the name of the there? So, there's also a mechanic, you say? Yeah. Do you know the name? Wait, okay. here, here, there is one, Wait. but he don't have uh, any parts. You know, repair man only there. But that man has some. Uh, you can buy. So, so what? What do they say? What do they do now? Top up that. Uh -huh. Yes. But he don't have uh, parts. Uh -huh. Then you have to go to town, bring them. So what did the boys say? They go to ask? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I know the man. You know? The man you know for sure the man there? Yeah. I know. But he has enough goods. Okay. But okay. then you... Five have, meter, yeah? Yeah. Uh, uh, five you, meters. Used by three meter. Uh, okay. Yeah. I trust this guy then, I guess. Turn it around again. <laughs> you go. You can use by the bike over. Okay. Stuti. Stuti Machan. So, guys. The scooter has burned down. We're in the middle of uh, the Condonese Mountains, if you will. No, 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 no. There we go, some Russian in there. In there. <laughs> well, basically. Burned down. Let's see, let's solve this real quick, shall we? Got a world to see stuff. Let's go. Oh. So, my Machans have a rope. <laughs> it's not the rope. Okay. Да, отель сейчас довезут. Let's see what we can do. I have now also realized that somehow I have managed to beautify the ski here. 
when I was probably trying to get something out. So the stars have a line today. Let's see if this man will have the magic. He's not a man of magic. Sorry, quick question. Can you do something with the key? Can you fix the key? I think I've put it in here and then... You think we can do it? Guys, always remember, the guys that don't talk much, they do much. Except me. So, I went to Нет, серьезно уехал, блядь. Well, guys, and the worst part about it all, I'm missing lunch. Moment of truth. My guess would be like four, I think. He put in a new belt, so... Who knows? He doesn't strike me as the... You think five? Doesn't strike me as the guy that's gonna rip me off right now, but let's see. This belt. Okay, how much is the belt? What is it? 2,000? 2,800. 2,800 for the belt and the work, 1,200? 1,200, yeah? Okay, okay, so 4,000 total? Okay. No? Somebody was right. Mm -hmm. 4,170, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Basically, I gave him all the cash I had on me. Okay guys, so another Sri Lanka moment. It's raining, it's pouring, as you can see. I stopped by the side of the road, parked here nicely, and here's like a little shop. So we're like literally in the mountains, there's nothing really here, but let's see. If we're already standing here, maybe some salt, a bag of salt, and superior white raw rice, that would be good, but don't know what to do with it. Wow guys, you can hear it. You can buy a Nimbus 5000 back there, that would be something. But yeah, let's see. So the snacks have been probably around here for a while, but let's see. Soya meat. Is that a snack? I wonder. Can I have like three of this? Let's do three. Yeah, three. Mm -hmm. What is this here? Some gum or something? Mm. Hope he has changed. Spicy. Tastes good. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> How do you say? Spicy? Spicy. Very good. Yeah. So I've been here 20 minutes already by now, half an hour. Yeah. About chips. Mm. I saw it says 16th March on it, so they're only like been packed two weeks ago, so 